welcome back to another video i am so excited to share with you guys another little what i eat in a week and i just wanted to put a disclaimer again that this is um a what i eat in a week on a very specific kind of diet that i'm using to try and heal my gut and some underlying conditions it's not the way i eat typically i love all foods this is definitely a little bit of a like I would say restrictive diet, so it's no sugar, no gluten, all that kind of stuff. Um, and life's too short. I got a, I got donuts to eat and all that kind of stuff. But I am doing this just for now. So I started the day with a really yummy beet, celery, cucumber juice thing that was absolutely delicious. And then I had one of my apple fruit roll-ups that I keep in the fridge as like just a really quick snack. And then I had an actual apple and some almond butter, which is one of my favorite snacks probably on this whole cleanse thing so easy so delicious i just like love nut butters i cannot get enough of a nut butter let me tell you that then lunch was super yummy it was this kind of like i saw some a video that was like kind of something similar to this and i just took my own little creative freedom i did like roasted carrots my homemade tofu feta spinach arugula this really good like maple balsamic dressing oh the caramelized carrots got like sweet i don't know it was so good and then i made this dessert which my dog really wanted which is this roasted banana thing and hear me out it was so good you put nut butter my homemade sugar-free chocolate it was so good and then I had some cherries as a snack also side note I want to say I know that there's something on my camera that is making like just a certain part of the video kind of like blurry and I'm so sorry about that it's really bothering me as I watch it back but and I almost like don't want to post a video because of it but I don't know like there's like a smudge on the camera or something so I deeply apologize um for dinner the night before I had these like tofu um like ball things that were kind of like fishy with rice and which is like a homemade probiotic brown rice and seaweed and stuff really delicious and then some strawberries and my homemade chocolate for dessert and then this morning i got up super early because i was going to meet a friend and her new baby which was so exciting and i made one of my like mushroom coffee drinks that's really really good and some of my homemade almond toast with uh that's gluten-free with some more almond butter it's almond almond uh and banana it was so good it was like oh, so warming and then this lunch look how beautiful it is all these veggies some homemade ranch homemade hummus and these homemade cassava flour tortilla chips that I make now that I literally are so much better than any regular store-bought chip that you could ever buy. Oh my God, they're so good. They're a little bit of a labor of love, but they're amazing. And then I made some homemade veggie stock to make this big old soup. Um, and I also bought a bunch of cauliflower that was on sale and I'm freezing it with zucchini to put in smoothies. Cause you know, we love a healthy little smoothie, a little boost of veggies in our smoothie in the morning. Then this was my little soup thing that I was having for dinner. I also had some homemade uh, leftover iced tea that I made. Oh, I hate when a little dribble happens in the bowl like that. I'm so sorry. I hate that. I don't know how you can like anti-dribble yourself when you serve things, but you know what? It just gets on the side of the plate of the bowl. It just ruins the whole aesthetic. Um, and then I was finally using my cauliflower zucchini thing in this strawberry probiotic smoothie that I was making so freaking good it's just like the blueberry one that i make a lot um and it's just like coconut milk probiotics hemp hearts oh so delicious and then i had these tofu cups left over and i was kind of really sick of eating them in like a little tofu cup thing to be honest they like weren't my favorite favorite that i've ever made they i don't know they just weren't right so i mushed them up and i was like maybe i can make a kind of like tofu scramble thing with them which i did which was pretty good but it wasn't like my favorite it was good but it wasn't like great and i had that with some like arugula and stuff and then i had another apple apples are like my ride or die you guys they were so good uh just such a good like little snack quick and easy snack i had it with some more nut butter and some of my homemade granola which is sugar free and stuff which is really good granola honestly it's made with sorghum which is like a really cool grain that i had never heard of before this diet and then for dinner, I made these sweet potato enchilada kind of things um, without the wrap. They were just the like sweet potatoes, beans, and I made like an avocado crema thing on top with some more of my cassava flour tortilla chips, which are my favorite thing ever. I literally cannot stop gushing about them. I love them so much. They're so good. Uh, and then this day, I had another one of my little coffee things, which was so good. This is also like one of my favorite it's so like warming it's gonna be so nice in the fall to make that little mushroom and there's no sugar in it or anything but it tastes amazing 
And this is uh, one of my favorite lunches, honestly, that I had all week. It's the Korean pancakes. So I just used chickpea flour as like the base, all these veggies, fried it up, made a really good sauce with like soy sauce and maple syrup, rice vinegar. Oh my gosh, absolutely incredible. And then I had one of my little chocolate things again. Those chocolate things are my lifesaver. Just like that little bit of like chocolate sweetened with date. Oh, just hits the spot. Then I had another smoothie as a snack and some granola and a little bit of milk when I was cooking dinner because I was starving. And then this dinner has to be the low, we have the highlights and then this is one of the low lights, if that's the right term of the week. It was a sorghum risotto, but we figured out that you really have to like boil and cook ris uh, sorghum before you do anything with it because it was like so hard. It was like crunchy. Anyways, we ate it, but it was like, it took us like 12 hours to eat it, which is kind of funny. And then I made this little dragon fruit blueberry smoothie, which was really delicious. I just love like the colors of all the different smoothies. They're so pretty. And then I had to eat the leftover of my little tofu thing. So I... I, I did it. I was good. And I had it with like a little salad with radishes and arugula. Oh, honestly, slow clap for arugula because arugula, like I know some people don't like it. I get it because it's like bitter. It's like a bitter green. But I could literally, like it is so complimentary to things like arugula. Oh, with anything sweet, savory. I just like love it. I don't know. I'm kind of obsessed with arugula. And then I had some more granola, which is again, just like a really good snack when I'm like starving and doing other things. Just stick something in my mouth quickly. Uh, and then I made some of my favorite tofu cream cheese, which is so good. And I made these chickpea flour chips, which I know sounds super weird, but they're incredible too. So good. And they go so well with the tofu cream cheese. And then I also made some homemade popsicles, which is, was kind of like a base of like cashews, all this kind of stuff that I froze. And then I was prepping dinner, which was like a big salad with like a nice little vinaigrette, some apples, some nuts. And then we made, I marinated a bunch of, oh, was, look at all these strawberries. I love a summer strawberry. I marinated these like tofu steak things and I made them into like these little lettuce burgers, if that makes sense. And then those apples that I was cutting up, I made it into like a apple fondue like not fondue what am i saying mousse i'm so sorry not a fondue and we had that with strawberries on top super good all around it's literally only sweetened by apples and it was so freaking good uh and then this day we started with some celery juice and one of my mom's favorite little detox smoothie things it's got so much stuff in it it's got seaweed in the smoothie which is i know like an odd ingredient in a smoothie but it's actually really delicious then for lunch i was really craving a bagel and so i made these cassava flour bagels which were actually pretty good were they like a bagel i don't know but like it had bagel vibes. It was like maybe in the bagel family, like a weird distant cousin or something. Uh, but like it did the job, like it hit the spot for like what I was going for. I made a big bagel sandwich with it. Oh, so many good things on there. And then I had one of my chocolate things. And for dinner, I was really craving like an orange chicken. And obviously those are like filled with sugar. Um, so I decided to like try and like do a sugar free one, which really turned out really well it's only sweetened by the oranges which i hand fresh juiced all by myself um we had it with quinoa instead of rice and some cucumbers just like asian cucumber salad oh my gosh kind of a weird combination altogether but it really worked honestly truly it really worked and then me and my mom were experimenting with buckwheat bread had some more of that chocolate mousse for dessert and it turned out so good i shared the recipe on my instagram amazing completely gluten-free by far the best gluten-free bread i feel like we've experimented with it tastes like it's really solid it's super easy to make i don't know it's really delicious and then the next day i had some of this like probiotic thing that again is like in the book that we're using that's a little funky tasting but it's supposed to be really good for you so you know we do it we do it we do what we gotta do and then we made another juice. I did beet and celery and a bunch of other veg that was kind of going bad. And it was kind of like a junk juice, if you will. Uh, I just threw in everything we had that was going bad. And then I made a delicious like Greek style omelet, tomato, feta, oh, all the good things with a side of avocado toast on the buckwheat bread and some arugula, of course. And it was all so good. Oh my gosh, I absolutely loved it. 
And then I had one of my popsicles that I made. Look at that. I put a bunch of like strawberries and like stuff on the outside as like, it was like, you know, those strawberry popsicles that have like that stuff on the outside. It was kind of like a make, like a, a healthy homemade version of that. Really, really good. Then I had some more of my homemade iced tea and some cherries again. And then I made some banana chocolate cookie things that were kind of like weird, but they honestly turned out really, really good. And I also made, I started to make some fermented vegetables that you had to like let ferment for like a whole week. So I didn't eat those this week, but they are so good. Let me tell you, absolutely delicious. Dinner was this like tofu zucchini thing on like this coconut yogurt sauce. It was absolutely, it's like, it was supposed to be in a different assembly than what we did, but the flavors oh, were absolutely incredible. And then dessert with some of the cookies, which were so, so yummy. They had like a really nice texture to them. And like, look at that gleam. Sugar-free. Can you believe that? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.